Good morning, guys. A catapult. Hmm. Hi, guys. Downloaded this one from Printables, not um, Thingiverse. I spotted it on Pinterest and followed the links and eventually found it on uh, Printables. Apparently, it's a modified version. The original had this cross piece um, in the middle of that bar which meant it needed support layers underneath it and the guy who did this one modified it just to drop that down so it printed flat and you didn't need any support i also had to reduce it in size to 95 percent of the original so it would fit on my build plate so i could go and look for the instructions and see how to assemble it or we could see if we can work it out. Preferably without cutting our fingers. It has printed nicely. In fact, it's printed very nicely. Oh, yeah. Lovely. And you've got a target as well. I suppose that gives you something to aim for. Yes. Okay. I've been sitting in here. It's been dull, grey, so cold. I've actually put my green jumper on. And now the sun's coming out. So I expect I'll have to take my jumper off in a minute. Because it gets very hot very quickly here in the conservatory. Not terribly interested in the target, but I suppose that's a nice touch to include it in the print. Every day I do a little good morning video that I post on Facebook, X, and, oh, and obviously YouTube, and also on Pinterest. And every time I go on Pinterest, I see other things that catch my eye, and that's what happened here. I spotted it on Pinterest and tracked it down. So we can have a go at it. Right, clearly that one goes in there. Bit of a tight fit. Yeah, that's going in. Okay. Yeah, that's in okay. I expect you had to put them in first. That's what the springs go on. So I could go and read the instructions. On printables, they they come on a nice downloadable PDF. Yeah, that's clearly going to go in the pointy bit in there. So we've got to do this in order. Now, do we want the spring to go down or up? Looked at the instructions and it goes that way round so the spring actually compresses rather than opens up. So you need two of them like that. Hang on, that one doesn't want to go on. Why doesn't that one want to go on? That one's just moved a little bit when it's printed. It's gone offline. Oh, that's annoying. But yeah, a little bit of trimming and now they fit in there okay. With a little point on the inside. 
and then that's going to go over there. I'll get it the right way around. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, off you come. All right. That's got to go down there. That's dropped off. Yeah. So the point of that goes into the hole just there. Like that. And that's going to go over there like that. Okay, that's in position. And then that's going to do the same thing on that side. Have we got it pointing in the right direction? Ah. Oh. That's got to be up, hasn't it? Get it off again. In there. Yeah, because that's going to go down like that. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and that's going to fit that way round or the other way round. I'm guessing that way round. Yeah, it's a little bit tight as well. I probably should have tried all these first. <laughs> and trim them up a bit. I just think I can push that in with a clamp and then that one sits on the top. And there. Yeah. I'll squeeze them down a bit to make them fit properly. Oh, good distance. That was about five meters. Not quite so far with the second one. That might have been a bit heavier. Let's try a lighter one. Yeah, about the same distance. I don't think there's a chance of hitting the target, but I'll go and put the camera down at the other end and we'll aim towards it. Well, we're certainly getting the distance, but we're getting no accuracy.
Well, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to hit that target. But it certainly is far more powerful than I expected. It's doing the distance easily. I think we're doing seven meters quite easily. Obviously, it depends on the size of the projectile. I tried a few different sizes. But yeah, brilliant. That one works absolutely fine, straight off the print. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.